Your personal and secure ADT Pulse webpage is where you'll set up all of your alerts, automations, and schedules that will help you manage your home and security system. There you can also manually manage your system at the click of a button. First, let's go over the features in the Summary tab, starting with the Security section. Clicking Arm Away to arm all sensors, including the motion sensors, or Arm Stay to arm all sensors except the motion sensors. To disarm, simply click Disarm. The colored circle and surrounding text provide the status of your home. The status of the security system appears on the left. Waves around the ADT logo indicate motion has been detected in the home, and a yellow circle and accompanying text to the right indicate the number of doors and windows that are open. A red diamond signals there is a problem with a sensor that should be addressed. Click the ADT logo to go to the History tab where you can view all activity for all sensors, or click an individual sensor name to view the activity for that individual sensor. The Notable Events section shows the most recent system activity. Click Notable Events or any of the individual events to view additional activity. Click the History tab to view activity of all devices connected to your system. Use the links at the top to view activity by category. To view activity by device, use the drop-down menu and choose the device. To view activity by time period, use the drop-down menu on the right. Click the Alerts tab to view or add alerts. Alerts are great for monitoring who is coming and going in your home and when. For example, set your system to send you an alert when your front door opens during the week so you know when your children have arrived home from school. An alert is sent via email or text message when the event occurs or does not occur in your home, depending on how you've set it up. Your system is automatically set up to send you an alert if your security system alarm is triggered. Click the Add Alert button to set up a new alert. Determine if the alert will be sent when something happens or does not happen, or if a system event happens and click OK. To set an alert when something happens, select the trigger and the event you want to be notified of. Here we'll set the trigger to be the front door opening. Then determine if you want the alert to be active. Here we'll set it to be active between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. We'll add some text that will appear in the alert when it's sent, then click Save. The system will send an alert to the email address and or mobile phone you have listed in your profile. To add an alert when something doesn't happen, click the applicable button and select the trigger and event you want to monitor. Then determine when you want the exception alert to be active. In this example, I want the system to send me an alert if the front door does not open between 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. Enter any text you want to accompany the alert and click Save. If the front door is not open during this time frame, you will receive an alert to the email address and or mobile phone you have listed in your profile. Lastly, to receive an alert when a system event happens, click the applicable button and select the system event you want to be alerted to followed by the period you'd like the alert to be active. Add text that will accompany the alert, then click Save. The system will send you an alert to the email address and or mobile phone you have listed in your profile. The System tab provides a listing of all devices connected to your system and the status for each. Click the Users link to view or modify current users or to add new users. Add new users by clicking the Add User button and inviting them to be a new user. Then enter the applicable information for that user and invite them by clicking the Send Invitation button. Click the My Profile link to change your profile settings and to add or delete email addresses or mobile phones where alerts are sent. Click My Profile History to view any changes to your profile. For more detailed information on how to use your ADT Pulse webpage, click the Help button found in the top right corner. Once you download the ADT Pulse iPhone application and enter your credentials, you'll have the option to use HomeView to manage your home and system from your phone by touching the Settings button and then the On-Off button. If you have not set up HomeView, you'll be instructed to do so via your web page. 
If you have Home View set up and choose to use it on your iPhone, just touch a device icon and arrow to view or manage the device in your home. On the Home or Home View screen, touch Arm to arm the system and then touch Arm Away or Arm Stay. Press Arm Away to arm all sensors or Arm Stay to arm all sensors except the motion detectors. To disarm, simply touch Disarm. The colored circle and surrounding text provide the status of your home. The status of the security system appears on the left. Waves around the ADT logo indicate motion has been detected in the home, and a yellow circle and accompanying text to the right indicate the numbers of doors and windows that are open. A red diamond signals there's a problem with the sensor that should be addressed. On the home screen, touch the ADT logo to view the status of all your security sensors and touch an individual sensor name to view the activity for that individual sensor. You can also see a history of sensor activity on the activity bar below. Download the ADT Pulse Android application and enter your credentials to get started. On the security screen, touch Arm to arm the system and then click Arm Away or Arm Stay. Touch Arm Away to arm all sensors or arm stay to arm all sensors except the motion detectors. To disarm, press disarm. The colored circle and surrounding text provide the status of your home. The status of the security system appears on the left. Waves around the ADT logo indicate motion has been detected in the home, and a yellow circle and accompanying text to the right indicate the number of doors and windows that are open. A red diamond signals there is a problem with the sensor that should be addressed. On the security screen, touch the ADT logo to view the status of all of your security sensors, and touch an individual sensor name to view the activity for that individual sensor. You can access your ADT Pulse system from any web-enabled mobile device by entering the URL in the mobile browser and then entering your credentials. On the home screen, use the security link to arm the system and then select Arm Away or Arm Stay. Use Arm Away to arm all sensors, or Arm Stay to arm all sensors except the motion detectors. To disarm, simply press Disarm. The colored circle and surrounding text provide the status of your home. The status of the security system appears on the left. Waves around the ADT logo indicate motion has been detected in the home, and a yellow circle and accompanying text to the right indicate the number of doors and windows that are open. A red diamond signals there's a problem with the sensor that should be addressed. Press the ADT logo to view the status of all your security sensors, and select an individual sensor name to view the activity for that individual sensor. Press the Notable Events link at the bottom to view the recent system activity. The mobile web page does not require that you download any application. Merely access the URL via your mobile browser and you're good to go.